Ladies and gents, today we have an absolutely massive Terra Mod Showcase today, and its name is the USS Enterprise. How massive is it? Well, it comes equipped with, uh, as you see here, six upgrades with uh, seven different upgrade pads for a total of, well, 42. Credits to Legend Doom Bubbles for creating this mod, and here you can see uh, just um, some more details of what this mod has to offer. So first off, the seven upgrade pads are split in a 3-3-1 formation. The first three main pads are the Enterprise's weapons, phasers, photon torpedoes, and uh, phase cannons. Next three are career pads, letting you specialize in tactical, science, or engineering with standard X-20 restrictions. And finally, the refit model, taking the Enterprise from the Constitution class all the way to the Aussie class. Of course, it's only fitting that we play this on the space truck and map. And uh, one more thing is that it always costs $1,701 to place down, no matter what. I'm not 100% sure of the significance of that number, but it's likely some Star Trek reference because this tower is um, a Star Trek inspired tower. I, for one, have not watched Star Trek at all, so I know nothing about it. But I would assume some of you avid Star Trek enjoyers would be, will be jumping for joy right now. Especially once I start buying some of these upgrades that may be familiar. Let's go ahead and get it down. So here we go. Here's what the 000000 tower does. Uh, it looks like it fires um, a laser beam. A laser beam and an occasional, I guess this would be considered the phase cannon. I would assume, again, it's part of um, what one of these three weapons are. So this one's the phaser shots, this one's torpedo. Yeah, this one's face cannon. Let's go ahead and get this one. Hard to see exactly what it's doing, but actually, I think the face cannon is the um the red mini bull that fires out. I, there are already three weapons here. I actually think the ball is the torpedo. Let's go ahead and get this one, and then we can probably see it. It is definitely going faster, I believe. Indeed, we're only two upgrades uh, out of the 42 in, and already um it, it's looking spicy. So uh, we did lock the cross path. Of the top path, so rip that, and as you can also see, you only get one of them at a time. It's, um, you can only have one, similar to the, uh, it's as valuable as a eventual true sun god. That's okay, maybe we'll buy and resell it later on. Uh, for now, let's take a look at the tier twos, I guess. So, phase cannons fire two at a time. For now, uh, two damage each, indeed. Those are the phase cannons. Surely one of these attacks pop purples, right? Um, actually, no, they don't. None of them do. That, well, that does make sense. Adds up. Luckily, that's why we have the, uh, Keeping that free Dharma key on hand. And high yield warheads. Torpedoes deal extra damage and bonus damage to their primary target. Because as you see, there is like a mini explosion attack that is the same as the, uh, I guess, anti balloon graphics. Pretty cool stuff. If you take a look very carefully, those um, torpedoes do pack like a massive punch. Thing is, it's like enough to one shot black balloons. Also, this thing has the targeting of um, Monkey Ace. You can do figure eight, center path. With your infinite, and you can also reverse the path of the USS Enterprise 2, if you so desire. So now let's take a look at the classes. What do each of them have to offer? I also just realized that there's a very easy way to show all of them at once. Yeah, like that. Let's take a nice read of all three of them. So first one is tactics. Uh, you can increase the tank speed of all the Enterprise's weapons uh, or engineering. You can deploy two small shuttles with slower copies of the Enterprise's most upgraded weapon. Modulate frequency, science, and uh, all of the Enterprise's attack can now pop purple balloons, I see. I mean, we got science covered with MIB. This is just, inc just increased attack speed. I actually like uh, the sound of uh, engineering. Smaller copies of, uh, like, the main attack. Sounds very interesting. Uh, I wonder since it's, like, they're tied, which do they shoot? It looks like it shoots the uh, torpedoes, so maybe just tiebreaker goes to whatever is the uh, highest path. Pretty cool, though. I'm definitely going to get face turret to see... Uh, these things now change to phase cannon, shooting phase cannons. Uh, so what phase turret does is that they fire much faster, and with a 360 degree launch angle, I could tell that sometimes it wasn't attacking. But now you can see, yep, attacking all the time, and, uh... No, it looks like the, uh, the, what do you call it, the little guys still shoot the, uh, what do you call it, the torpedoes. I guess it only updates the weapon when you buy that upgrade. Anyways, let's see how uh, this USS Enterprise does against round 40 here. Did put 9k to it, into it, so maybe surprised it didn't work. So very nice there. Let's take a look at the next year auxiliary power of the engineering. So it boosts the power of the Enterprise's least upgraded weapon. Okay, well that would be the um, what do you call it? The one that I have zero on, right? Let's buy it. And of course you can't really tell it making a difference here, but I'd have to assume that that's how it works. Also, don't ask me how I'm able to um, have farms and have them work on Venus. 
it is, it, it just... If it phys physics in BTD6 doesn't make sense. Science as we know it just does not work, and okay, I, I know uh, I said I could just get a mid, but I want to see what, um, uh, I guess, science the this path has to offer. So, scan for life forms. Uh, this allows the Enterprise to see and pop camos, okay. Really standard stuff. I'll just get it so I don't have to get uh, more campbots later. Again, this is one of those terror mods that if I didn't tell you it was modded, you, I, you could probably fall for it. <laughs> You, you would think this was like a, a real update to the game. Gotta love it. Now for the very bottom one again. Um, this one you can upgrade at any time. So it looks like the first upgrade is just um, uh, increased piercing damage for all weapons. Sure, why not? Only 1k. I think it's actually the same um, type upgrade every single time here. So increased piercing damage again. And then increased piercing damage again. Also, this was completely coincidental, but somehow I placed the... USS Enterprise right on the US on the map. How fitting. Let me just get a monkey town so I can squeeze out some extra money because these uh, six tiers will eventually get more and more expensive. Let's uh, work on, I guess, uh, what does deploy runabouts do? Upgrades deployed shuttles to stronger Danube class runabouts. I hope I didn't butcher the pronunciation. Let's just get it. Now, if I'm looking at this carefully, uh, I think the uh, shuttles, they do actually shoot the uh, lasers now. No longer torpedoes. So maybe once I uh, press, like, bot upgrades on it, it remembered again that I uh, um, had this as the most upgrade. That's, that's just a guess. Anyways, let's go ahead and get um, quad cannons now. Might be a little bit overkill considering how well we're doing, but sure. Firing four at a time for four damage each. Don't mind me getting even more lasers. So far, still cruising along with our 0240322 USS Enterprise. Let's get, take a look at the um, next um, path of the engineering. So this time we have an ability. Ejects the warp core. And it creates an explosion that deals immense damage to all balloons on screen. Sounds interesting. I guess let's use it now and see what happens. Okay, so it's a bit of a delay. A delay and then a massive burst of damage. Kind of similar to, I guess, a, a star bomb, although I can't tell if it... Well, yeah, yeah, it, it pretty much sounds like a, a, a reskinned star bomb or something like that. Like, let's take a look and use it here. Can we one-shot ZMGs? Uh, nope, but it does do a massive burst of damage to it, so... Uh, yeah, my description sounds about right. It just being a uh, ground zero, but even better. Okay, and now I start to sense some difficulty with the uh, USS Enterprise here. Let's get some... Uh, Upgrade, shall we? Which one? Heavy cannons first, I guess. So, let's see. It's uh, bigger shots, more damage, more pierce. Fairly standard. Let's get it. In the meantime, now that we got our tier 5, we can take a look at the ultimate tier 6 upgrades, Polaron cannons. Uh, upgrades to Polaron cannons, dealing massive damage with unlimited pierce. Sounds about right, given the cost. In the meantime, uh, what does Shuttle Squadron do? Deploys 5 total shuttles. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. I want to see these little guys fly everywhere. And indeed, they are flying everywhere. I'd assume at some point they'd start splitting off, because three of them are still, like, uh, kind of following each other, if you see that. What are they, like, birds in the sky? Okay, now they finally, um, split off, now that some balloons are here. How's 95 here? Should be easy with all these lasers firing, right? Yep, nice and easy. I'm a 96. Nice. 98? I mean, I guess these things have good pierce. So, that is no surprise. It seems like DTs are... Uh... Oh, definitely. Is it, like... Oh, am I dead? Well, I'm not dead, because Space Dragon's really long. But are there, like, some attacks here that, like, don't pop DTs or don't work on DTs? Um, probably, because, um, laser attacks actually don't pop LEDs without an, an, an MIB. I guess I had to go for the uh, Science Officer in order to uh, unlock that. But anyways, um, here's 100. In the meantime, I can read Fleet Museum. Instead of deploying shuttles, calls in all previous Enterprises from retirement. Again, sounds powerful enough to uh, justify the uh, 324k cost. And I think I have round 1 and 2 here. It is time. Very close to death. Yep, that is death. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Polar Run Cannons then. Well, I forgot to use the ability, but whatever. I I'm just gonna get an anyways, and nice! We have turned the lasers uh, purple. Damage looking extra spicy now. Don't mind me, just fast forwarding through. So I don't need Fleet Museum. Uh, GS, yeah, do I? Nope. Holding strong, holding strong. I'm holding off from buying the 7th path, just because, well, it's pretty standard stuff, so I'd like to see a weaker version, thus requiring us to buy this upgrade sooner. And we need it again, so far so good. And how about for 138 here? Nope! It is over. 
unless I use this nuke. It might buy us, like, uh, some, uh, a bit of reprieve, but simply too long around. All right, let's get it. So now we can actually get more than one Enterprise, quote-unquote. Here we go. So far, two Enterprises. Oh, was there only one Enterprise, like, in retirement, quote-unquote? Again, I don't know Star Trek lore, so tell me if that's, <laughs> if, if that's the case. That basically doubles our DPS. I don't think that's... It doesn't look like it's enough, though. We'll, we'll see. How far do we make it here? Um, no, it's not enough. Damn. Well, I guess this is a good test to see how much one upgrade will do from the bottom class, so let's take a look. I guess it's only increased piercing damage, so it's not like it's um a massive scaling, you know what I mean? Like, if attack speed, percentage-based increased attack speed, like, it works well with whatever, whether it's a 300k upgrade or 3k, but usually damage pierce is additive. Anyways, it wasn't enough to make a difference. Let's see now if we can... Tackle 140 here. Oh, looking good. Yep, we got enough for sure here. So it's at this point where I think I will sell off this Enterprise and check out some different paths. Also, I've been scanned. Why can't you place a boat on, you know, the oceans? It's literally water. Oh, well. Rip some money. Because I'm starting from scratch again, I think it would only be fitting to maybe reduce the round number. Just so we can actually see what these um early things have. Without having to make an entirely new game, if you know what I mean. So let's uh, focus on top path here. So... Uh, this one critically strikes balloons for 10 damage occasionally. Again, this is the very occasional shooting laser attack that you see that affects like one balloon at a time. Looks like it does one damage too. Pretty weak stuff. The phaser beam now deals more damage with um tier two and now knocks back balloons. Cool. Fire or will here sounds like it now shoots two different lasers, strong and close. Oh, I guess the first um initial one was only a close strike. I couldn't tell there. In the meantime, let me check out the career path that I did not pick last time. So, let's just buy uh, some tactical officers. So, increase the attack speed of everything. Increase the pierce of everything. This one, uh, extra damage to Saram and Fortified Loon. So, fairly standard path right now. I like the theme that all of the um, uh, career paths have an ability. But these are just like um, upgrades to the main weapon itself. Nothing uh, ability-wise. So, this one diverts power from all non-essential systems and gives it to the weapons. I don't know what that means. But I'm determined to see uh, what exactly it, it does. Does it like siphon power from the other towers? Or what? Well, for one, it slows down the Enterprise. Uh, um, I think it's just a temporary, like, buff. You see there's a little icon on this Enterprise here that indicates that it's slowing down its ship, its orbit, and exchange makes it do extra damage. Uh, pretty cool. Let's get, let's see what beam overload does. Um, phaser beams create a burst of energy. On contact, that damages other balloons nearby, so this should help our pierce problem, I think. Indeed, you can see now, every time it fires the, uh, um, beam, you can see a little bit of, um, a radius explosion, or whatever you call it. Phasers to maximum, tier 5. Sets phasers to the maximum power setting, dealing immense damage and crits. Why not? Let's get it. And now for resistance is futile, enterprises damage, or attacks do bonus damage to mall class balloons. Uh, yeah, looking like a pretty standard, uh, um, path there. Damage for 100k spent in it is honestly pretty weak, but that's also because I didn't buy any of the Houston damage upgrades, which definitely helped there. I guess I'll do what I did last time, though. It sounds like two upgrades sound like an appropriate number that matches its strength pretty well. Two or three. Either way, let's take a look at the tier 6 top path now. Phasers become devastating anti-proton beams with crit strong enough to one-shot. Many balloons. Many balloons, you say? Well, let's just jump to round 98 and see for ourselves here. Um, for 200k, I expected, I guess, to clean up a little bit better, even though I have two upgrades. Maybe that's what this ability is for. Better weapon damage? Indeed, indeed. Let's see how those dark energy beams are doing for us for round 90, 99. Very nice. Also, insane single target with this, this path here. That does add up, or rather, that does make sense. Nice. And lastly, uh, the tier 6 officer. Uh, Enterprises attacks do bonus damage based on the maximum HP on balloons. Okay, percentage based. Which I would assume makes it really great for, I guess, you know, round 119. Also, I am dead. Probably because it's a bit unreliable. Not dead, but close to dead, which, again, is uh, quite surprising given the 400k. I guess I need to buy one path here. I think I... Oh, I just realized that buying this, like, each path here increases the size of the Enterprise. We've got a massive behemoth that's just casually floating in space here. Okay, so let's jump to 119 or two. See that percentage base damage. Just how good is it? Well, pretty good stuff. How about it straight to frick it? Round 200. 
if it's percentage based, we should see. I do see some nice spikes of like 20k, 30k damage. And yep, with the ability out, you best believe that we're beating 200 here. Well, at least the bad layer. It looks like I think I'll probably leak to the innards. Uh, yep. <laughs> understandable, understandable. And I guess while I'm already here, let's finish it off with the uh, last two tier 6 paths I'm missing. So I think I missed out uh, tornadoes or torpedoes, middle path. Now fires in a burst of three and a wide arc for tier three. We can certainly see an action. Yeah, it's basically triple the amount of torpedoes. Pretty broken if you ask me. And I think the one I missed was um, path number six. 6k for Surgical Strikes. The attacks now remove Camo, Regrow, and Fortified. Sheesh. If it works on mobs, then that's really broken. Let's see if I can see. Yep, that, that mob there turned from Fortified to, uh, well, non-Fortified, so uh, confirmed. How about Beef Bees? This certainly seems like one of the strongest paths when cheap. It's only uh, still tier 3, and it's making it up to 79. And it does look like, oh yeah, it is still unfortifying them. Pretty OP stuff, not gonna lie. How about, um, does it defortify this? Oh my god, it does. Well then, um, tier 4. Imbue torne torpedoes with, um, chroniton particles, giving them more pierce and making them greatly slow hit balloons. I think you kind of see an action against the Zoom GC here, just an occasional, occasional slowdown up on hit. Uh, looks like we need help, so I'll buy a class and, um, uh, tier 4 of this science path. Ability grants all monkeys temporary access to... Uh, Advanced Starfleet Technology. Interesting. So it buffs other towers. Let's just try with the Dart Monkey, for example. How much of a buff are we looking at? Ability? I'm seeing increased attack speed. Increased damage. Probably increased pierce. And you see, again, a temporary icon ability. Pretty cool stuff. I'd assume it affects... Yeah, I just dropped a tower and it affected it immediately. I'd assume if it works for, like, tier 5s, then... Uh, yep, I, I do still, still, still see the icon. That's gotta be pretty... Barely broken, I bet. Just one more time here, yep. Works for the Elim. Okay, let's just sell it and um, check out the uh, Tier 5 now. Quantum Torpedo is 56,000. It explosion damage, uh, radius and pierce increased. Uh, very nice. Now we've turned uh, nice and blue. In my opinion, a much cooler looking um, color than red. At least if we're talking about the uh, tower at hand here. So, uh, Tier 5 of the science. Monkeys now have permanent access to... Uh, Advanced Starfleet. And what else did it say there? The ability now increases its own attack speed. I see, I see. I see. Are the tier 5s enough here to beat round 100? Yes, it is, but it took a while. Also, is the tier 5, like, class alone it? Like, enough to do this? I, I didn't realize they turned this into shooting plasma, but it seems like it does. Does it do that for every projectile? Let's try, for example, the robo. It does, wow. This time it's shooting the, um, what do you call it? The proton beams. So this one's shooting the other projectile. Can I make... Can I find one that shoots, like, the torpedoes instead? Like, with a mauler? Kind of hard to see. Actually, I think it, it changes projectiles, yeah. Okay, with a maelstrom. You can kind of see its main attacks now, shooting those, um... <laughs> those things. The ability does not change it. Unfortunately. But that's pretty sick. And it looks like for tier 6 here, um, it just increases the power even more. Of that passive, and for a transphasic um, torpedoes, uh, torpedoes now phase through boon layers, dealing massive damage to all layers at the exact same time. And as you can see, that means uh, its main attack just annihilates the insides of Zoom G's. Love to see it. Can we just phase through the insides of uh, the bad here? Yep. I think it allows us to clean up pretty much all three bads. <laughs> no, uh, no mess required. So again, I did pretty hastily go through all the final upgrades there, but that's because, again, there are a lot of them. So if you want to see a part two of this, then uh, let me know, because um, there are certainly a lot of things we can do. For one, I believe, um, ultimate cross pathing work with this tower. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But other than that, what more to say other than that, this is probably one of the most um, well-made tower mods. I've probably said that a few times already, but I definitely mean it for this one. Also, don't mind me skipping to round 200 here to see if we can beat... A normal bad, but it does not look like this one. Without the percentage based, uh, it is not enough. But I just realized that it also defortifies bads. That's that. That's pretty nutty. Again, sounds like it'd be even nutty if I can get multiple of the tier sixes on the uh, same enter enterprise. But you have to stay tuned for that. Till then, have a very earthy day.